It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and following on from Veganuary, what we've been doing previously with Burger King and McDonald's and Subway and Greg's and Morrison's with a no beef or no pork pie, should I say, we have a Costa Coffee. This is their vegan smoky ham and cheese. Uh, so it's vegan ham, vegan cheese. I asked for the wrapper. So can I have the wrapper? I need to write up my video uh, regarding it. So here is the I've driven it for about, well, I was in the car for a couple of minutes. It wasn't that long. Uh, of course, bread is vegan. Uh, there's a look at the bread. It looks nice. Uh, there's the, yeah, it's not, it's not buttered. But then there's the ham. And then there is the cheese. Vegan cheese. I'm not sure what brand the ham or the cheese is. Let's dive in. It just says that it's vegan ham and vegan cheese. So there's no kind of brand attached to this. Oh, I say that. There you go, it's corn. Corn ham. It's actually really nice. The cheese is it's, it's a it's a melted cheese. It's beautiful. Look. There's the cheese on top. Look at that. Mmm. It's actually, it's a really, really tasty toasty. And I think if you gave me this, if you gave me this here, say I went into Costa, sat down. I'll talk about how busy the place was now in a moment, but um, so I sat down in Costco, I said to the wife, just, just get me a cheese and ham toasty. She didn't tell me that it was vegan. I, I don't think I would know the difference. It's come an awful long way. An awful long way very quickly. There was a time where, pardon me, there was a time where I really didn't like vegan cheese. It was kind of, my wife was a vegan last year for a, a, an amount of time, about eight months, I think it was. And I couldn't get on with the vegan cheese. Uh, and I thought that was gonna be my biggest downfall in tasting this toasty, but it's absolutely fine. It's like, um, it's almost like, um, like a dairyly triangle type consistency. It's kind of like sticky and gloopy, the cheese. Hmm. It's very nice, very nice. So this was my first time going into a Costa coffee. Um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a guy that I wake up in the morning I'm a filter coffee type of guy, I don't muck about, just put a few granules in a cup, make a quick cup of coffee, and then I'll have another cup of coffee in the house at three o'clock in the afternoon. So, um, I've never never been to, to a Costa coffee before. I've been to a Starbucks. Um, so this is my first time in Costa coffee. I left at 10 to one. It's now quarter to two. Here you are on the microwave. I left at 10 to 1. I thought, I'll only be five minutes. I mean, it was queuing out the door. I couldn't believe it. People ordering kind of like loads of different coffees and lunches and, and okay, it's, it's probably payday, it's a Friday. Um, but it was, it was, I was just surprised just to see how busy this place was. And 
It was it was a former Blockbuster store in Barry. It used to be a Blockbuster's. Um, now it's a Costa Coffee. So it's a large, it's a large Costa Coffee, and every seat was taken. This place was was packed, and and Barry Town Centre isn't the most kind of affluent of town centres. It's 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 well, it, it, if I'm honest, it's more or less on its knees, and I, I fully I was fully expecting. I thought I'll leave you at a ten to one. I'll be back here by 10 past two, easily. Boy, was I wrong. So there's a couple of kind of traditional cafe, independent cafes in town, which they look like they're really struggling. And there's not many people in there. And I know there was a place in Barry years ago uh, it was famous for his cooked breakfast up on the first floor. Um, I'm, not, I'm waffling now, but I want to talk about independent places that are just not not able to somehow not able to compete because this isn't cheap. This was three pound fifty. I mean, it's not extortionate by any means, but. I'm sure if you went into a, a traditional kind of independent cafe, they could serve you a cheese and ham toasty for no more than three pounds, surely. So, what irritates me quite a lot is, is people seem to love the brands, the chains, the, the big, in, oh, I went for a Costa for my lunch type of thing. So they, I don't know, not brag about it, but, but, but yeah, I, I, I go to Costa, Costa or or I shop in Marks and Spencers or or I eat from from a, a Miller's Steakhouse, Miller and Carter Steakhouse type of thing, rather than using independence. Um, just my just my tuppity pence worth. Uh, just my just my thoughts on 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 town centres, not just in Barry where I live, but all over the country, seem to be struggling. And then somehow th th these kind of branded chains, which are quite expensive, seem to be doing really well. I'll never understand it myself, but let's, let's review this toasty. Let's rate this toasty. Um, lots of ingredients in here. Oh, it's just, it's just really tasty. That is... Mm. If you're a vegan, I suppose something a little independent cafe can do, where a big chain can. If you're a vegan and you're looking for somewhere to eat for, for lunch, you won't go far wrong with this toasty. I'm gonna rate that out of all the vegan products so far from the McDonald's dippers to the Greg steak bake to the Subway meatless Marina Mariana Mariana whatever that's called meatball Mariana um what else have we tried the Burger King Rebel Whopper we reviewed earlier on last week this is right up there. This is right up there. This is this is really tasty. Veganism's coming a long way. So there's a lot of flavour now to be had for this. I mean, it was so easy just to say this this toasty was going to taste like cardboard. It was just going to be nothing to it. But absolutely not. Terrific. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten from Relail Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box if you like what you see. Please subscribe. give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers. Okay, just for a little extra, we've just finished reviewing the vegan all-day breakfast panini. And in all honesty, it just wasn't as good as the the vegan cheese and ham toasty, which you've just finished watching the review of. Um, I just found that the cheese and ham toasty was so much like a cheese and ham toasty. I wouldn't tell the difference. Whereas the panini, well, watch the video, check it out. It'll be up 
in a day or two or if you're watching this in days to come it'll already be on our channel so check it out but it was nothing really like um an all-day breakfast panini to be honest